Hello friends, today we will be talking about the newer treatments in multiple myeloma and those treatments that have really changed the landscape of outcomes for this disease called multiple myeloma. A few years ago, this type of disease used to have very limited treatment options. Maybe once you have exhausted two or three lines of treatment, the outcomes for these type of patients was practically very poor. But now we are sitting in 2025. The treatment options that are available now, they had been not there maybe a couple of years back, a decade back, they were not there. And last 10 years have shown significant improvement in the outcomes because of availability of these newer medications and newer modalities. What are these medications? One such medication is called daratumumab. It is a monoclonal antibody that acts against a antigen on the surface of the diseased plasma cells. So plasma cells are the cancer cells in multiple myeloma and on their surface is present a specific antigen that is called a CD38. Now this monoclonal antibody, it's an antibody that will go inside the body by means of an injection and wherever it finds any cell that is expressing CD38, it will target those cells only thereby killing them. And that is how it is so specific and precise, it will go and kill only the bad myeloma cancer cells without harming other normal cells of the body. It is a really wonderful medication and because of this medicine, the outcomes for these patients are really going up. Another advancement that has happened a couple of years back is something called as white antibody, bispecific T-cell engager antibody. What does it mean? Using body's own immune system to fight against myeloma is what is a bite antibody. We have all got normal immune systems inside the body, including those patients who have got myeloma. And this immunity is provided by a subset of cells inside the body called T-cells. This medicine called teclistamab or elrentamab is now available. What this medicine does is what once it enters inside the body, it activates the immune system of the body, bringing these activated immune cells closer to the malignant or diseased plasma cells and it somehow acts as a bridge between the CD3 cells on the lymphocytes and the BCMA antigen that is present on the diseased plasma cells thereby the immune system can act much more aggressively on these diseased plasma cells and this is the newer advantage because of which the outcomes have really gone up. These medicines are definitely associated with some side effects including cytokine release syndrome because of this antigen antibody reaction there is some inflammatory response that happens inside the body during these injections but that now can be very well taken care of because there are medicines that are available to take care of this inflammatory response as well one million dollar question that is still hotly debated across the world and that is in the presence and available scenario of these beautiful antibodies that are now available is there a role of autologous bone marrow transplant for patients with multiple myeloma the answer is a big yes why so the recent trials that are concluded have incorporated utilizing these antibodies for the treatment of multiple myeloma upfront for a patient with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma and the results that showed that in the presence of these antibodies being used for the treatment of multiple myeloma the role of autologous transplant in 2025 cannot be negated that means autologous transplant is still required and useful to achieve a longer duration of response a longer duration of myeloma control period even in the presence of antibodies yes there are some trials that are still ongoing to conclude that but that will take another couple of years for us to get the results whether it is really questionable to use myeloma autologous transplant in the era of novel antibodies but yes as of today 2025 all patients who are fit to undergo an autologous bone marrow transplant even if they have used daratumumab or teclistamab or elrentamab should undergo an autologous bone marrow transplant once they achieve remission of their multiple myeloma.